Hey, Rashad. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, this is the Road to 5K Subs. My name is Rashad Milligan. And tonight, on this video, we're going to talk about Miss Skylar Diggins Smith, the hottest free agent in the world right now, man. Now, if y'all don't know me, a lot of y'all don't know because I only said this in text messages. So if I ain't been texting you, you ain't been knowing I ain't been knowing this agenda. But my agenda has been to stop sharing the screen, put it back on me. Skylar Diggins Smith, SDS, and the Bayou Bobby, Angel Reese, to Atlanta. Let's turn the city up. That's my new agenda. That's my new agenda. My last agenda, it prospered. Haley Jones and, uh, and Leticia and me here. L.A. to the dream in the 2023 draft. My agenda prospered. I would have loved to see Haley at point a little more this year. Which brings me to why is Skylar Diggins Smith coming to Atlanta? Atlanta needs a point guard, man. Shout out to, to Ari McDonald. You know, hard worker, very fast, very talented, scorer. And, you know, she's fast. But, you know, Atlanta needs a distributor. I felt like the best player for that, the best lineup last year, most effective lineup, was Haley Jones at the one. Uh... Alicia Gray at the two. Ryan Howard at the three. You can put whoever at the four. You can put Monique Billings. You can put Nas Hillman at the four. Cheyenne Parker at the five. That was the most useful lineup last year. For some reason, Coach Tanisha Wright didn't go to that as much. Um, I, I, I just don't know why. She had Haley coming off the bench. Haley had some good games off the bench. Um, sometimes she didn't have the best games. Ricky Grom paints. It happens. You expect that. But yeah, I say all that to say my agenda thrived last year. My agenda the year before, when Nas Hillman fell to 15 and Atlanta got Nas and Ryan, it's thriving. Nas Hillman took a second year leap. She had a great year last year for Atlanta. Mo Billings is consistent. It's pretty much like what you've seen from Mo Billings is what you're going to get from Mo Billings. Um, Cheyenne Parker career year. She's getting older. She's getting better as she's getting older, which is crazy. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you probably need some, you know, some cushion, something to give her a little break because uh Kia Vaughn is retired. She uh she up in the front office now. So you know what I mean? So, you know, you need something to take some little pressure off her type deal and stuff like that. Because uh I don't know if I just want Nas or Mo. At the five, you know, kind of like, you know, doing those minutes where she taking breathers and stuff like that. You know, I want to bring in a five if you want to. You know, so so that's the thing in the song. But we'll get there when we get there. But overall, the largest glaring thing is you have all these scores on the wings. Alicia and Ryan, to be exact, two all stars on the wings, high level scores on the wings. But you need someone to distribute the ball to them. Ari uh, or Ari McDonald, excuse me. Um, Ari is someone who is a great scorer, you know, can get to the basket with the, with the best of them. But, you know, that's kind of like her mentality first. If she don't have something immediately, she bing, 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 turbo-tastic to the rim. You need someone who's going to distribute and also score when the tough get going. And who better to do that than Skylar Diggins-Smith? So... When I first said Skylar Diggins Smith to Atlanta, a lot of people said, she's going to Indiana. I want her to go to Indiana. B. Terrell wants her to go to Indiana. Shout out to B. Terrell, uh, WNBA ambassador for the city of Atlanta. I will give him that crown. But we have something interesting that shook it up this week. As I scroll down on, on her page, here we go. Just pack your bags and go home to Indiana. They need you. She said, they don't think so. <sighs> Let me tell you something, Mrs. Smith. Uh... What you need? What you need? We got Busy B, Harold's. We got all types of soul food if you want that. 
if you ain't into that, this is like the vegan soul food capital of America. We got Planet Soul down the street from where I'm at right now. We got Slutty Vegan, a couple of those locations. We got, uh, who else we got? Roots Cajun Kitchen. They, they're like a little more mobile right now. We got uh, Dish Palette. They're a little more mobile right now. So what you need? You need the vegan or you need just regular soul food or you want pizza. We got that. It's not as good as New York or Chicago pizza. I ain't going to lie and say that. But we got some food spots here. The service... Keith Lee might have a point about the service. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, but we got some good tasting food here, some seasoning. People put seasoning on their stuff down here in the South. Child care. You heard me about a couple minutes ago. Cheyenne Parker just had the best year of her career. And the whole team take care of that child. They adopted the child. Like, that's the franchise child right there. Excuse me, I had to get my hair right. You worry about child care. You worry about family life and balance. Renee Montgomery is one of the owners. Someone you competed against with for years. One of your peers coming out of college into the league. She understands work-life balance. She got eight podcasts, 10 YouTube channels, and 50 different jobs on TV. In addition to being a co-owner of the Atlanta Dream. You want to be on TV, get your career going, or your post playing career, if you want to do some media stuff, we got Turner in the building, we got NBA TV in the building, what you want to do, TNT, you can hop on, on the... be sitting right next to Candace, be sitting right next to D, well, D-Wade ain't there no more, but Jamal Crawford, Charles Barkley about to retire in a couple years, whenever Draymond come replace him. What you need. Get a head start on it. Get you a place in Atlanta. Let's see how my people on the army when we see when we can be people. Come on over to Atlanta, man. If Scholar Diggins Smith comes to the dream, though, putting the recruiting aside, um, it puts Atlanta on another level. And they're no longer the young team that's got a lot of talent and potential, and they'll lose some games that they shouldn't be losing. And, um, you know, they're eventually, they're still figuring it out and putting it together with the young coach and this and that. They go from a playoff team to a championship contender. You go up in that upper echelon of the top two teams. You're in there with the Washington level now, with the Washington Mystics, where they're like the third team. They're not a super team. But they're like the third team. They're just as good. You can't sleep on them when you play Washington, when you play the Mystics. That puts Atlanta from seed eight to seed three, seed four. And you bring in Angel Reese. If Angel Reese slips all the way to eight, Angel has a lot to work on in her game. We've all agreed on that and this and that. She needs to expand her jumper on the offensive side of the ball. The defense is pretty solid. You know, continuing not fouling. Keep everything in check. We don't need no techs to get us out this game. Because in the real world, baby, everybody ain't going to be yelling and throwing a fit like your coach and getting away with it because your coach is your coach. And that don't work like that in the W. You don't see coaches throwing their coats and this and soups and jack. It don't go like that in the W. feel me? So, I say all that to say you can go someplace where you don't going to have the most pressure on you because first you fail to eight. B... You got Nas Hillman. You got Monique Billings. And you got the all-star Cheyenne Parker. So, ain't even going to be throwing you in a rotation like that. Throwing you in the fire for real. If you're not ready, you're not ready. Shout out to T-Dub. That's my new That's my new uh, nickname for Coach. I might just call Coach T-Dub now. But, um, you know, she falls to Atlanta. I think from a culture standpoint. A lot of the off-the-court stuff. I ain't going to hold you. A lot of the off-the-court stuff. I think she just fits with the culture of Atlanta. The flashiness, the clout, the Instagram, the grass walls, and the restaurants, the long wait times. Like, Angel Reese fits perfectly there. And I think she'll be a very marketable uh, figure in the city of Atlanta. Atlanta will embrace her and love her like her own. And love her like they do Ryan Howard, man. People love Ryan Howard. People love Angel McCautry down here. Especially Angel, you know, because she's established herself in the city. So, 
that could be aimed to reach too. And, you know, i love to see it. Uh, but, you know, if it don't happen, if it's Cardoso, Cardoso falls to eight. That's a great thing as well. Like I said, you need someone at the five to back up, but they do need a point guard. So, Sky, I know you're looking at New York. Sky, I know she might be looking at Vegas, which would be... <sighs> Vegas and New York is just like... <sighs> Even Connecticut, I ain't going to lie. But Connecticut could use it. They, they done lost some firepower with John Quill going to New York. They could use it, whatever. The rich get richer. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my thing with, with Sky. Um, and, yes, that's what's going on with Skylar Diggins-Smith. So, where do you think Skylar Diggins-Smith is going? Where do you want her to go? Uh, things like that. Let me see. She said the plot thickens. And here we go. She said, I love the East Coast when they were asking her about Connecticut or, or New York. Uh, let me see what we have. Anything else? Any other uh, Skylar Diggins Smith things? Hold on, I'm gonna scroll up real quick. All right, hold on. Skylar Diggins Smith. I smell Smith with uh, two T's. Let me see. So she she didn't say anything. A couple of people are saying to Atlanta, but not many people are saying to Atlanta. Most people are saying, uh, most people are saying, you know, the Connecticut, because that's the only thing she responded to. So a lot of people that was like Atlanta, Atlanta, she didn't respond to those. She responded to that Connecticut. She responded to that New York, though. I think, huh? This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. All right. Oh, man. Dang, that's crazy. All right, but but where y'all think Skylar Diggins Smith going to? You think she's going? I ain't going to lie. From an unbiased perspective, non-biased, I know I just did a whole thing recruiting her to Atlanta. I think more than likely she going to go to the Connecticut Sun. I ain't going to lie to you. She not going to Indiana. She going to Connecticut. That's just my thoughts on the situation. But what do y'all think? Let me know down low, low in the comments. This is the World of 5K Subs if you are new to the channel. Until next time, please take care of your...